Hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm sharing some tips on how to style sneakers with dresses and skirts. I got this question before and I feel like it's a really good just like styling hack to know how to do because usually when we put on a dress or a skirt, we can immediately feel very dressy and when you want to wear these types of pieces for more of an everyday casual look, it may be a little challenging. So I not only have some tips but also of course some outfit ideas as well. So let's dive right into outfit number one. Outfit number one is very feminine to me. I have this beautiful flowy skirt from H&M which is not only a good length but it's also high waisted so it's going to help with my proportions as I did tuck in my little graphic tee. This graphic tee is one of my favorites because even though it is more of a casual graphic tee piece, it still has a little bit of a feminine style to it because the words are in cursive. And I thought that was a nice, like, elegant touch that really shows you that even when you're shopping for casual pieces and you're trying to wear sneakers with dresses, you can find pieces that still have, like, an elegant or feminine style to them but are still very practical, like this t-shirt. I then added my Keds. Now my Keds are my favorite type of sneakers to wear with dresses and skirts because they are, I would say, like the no-brainer easiest way to style dresses with sneakers and that is because of the style of the sneaker itself. As you can see, it's a very sleek and minimal style and it really helps balance out the outfit. A lot of the times when you wear a flowy or voluminous skirt or dress with chunky sneakers, this can look very frumpy because there's no balance or even juxtaposition, so to speak. So by wearing something that is voluminous at the bottom, but then going ahead and balancing it off with a nice sleek sneaker, something that maybe is a little bit more narrow, not very chunky. It doesn't have to be minimal. I really love the Ked styles that have like color and floral to them. Of course, this is just really nice to wear because it goes with everything. I just think it's good to make sure that you find a sneaker that is a nice sleek kind of minimal style because it's gonna be the best thing to wear with your dresses and skirts. But this is not gonna limit you as you will see in the next few outfits. I did create a style guide that you can use with a whole bunch of different shoes to wear with dresses and skirts. And I posted it on the Like to Know It app. So I'm gonna go ahead and link it below for you to look at. To finish off the outfit, I've also added some jewelry from today's sponsor, which is Perifoya. I love Perifoya when it comes to finding sustainable, unique pieces. I feel like a lot of their pieces just have a lot of character to them, but they're still like... I don't want to say minimal, they're still simple enough where I can wear them for an everyday basis, especially for casual looks like today's outfits. Today I'm wearing these cute little pearl and diamond studs, which I absolutely love. I'm probably not going to take these out for a while. Honestly, I love just finding a nice like stud or simple earring that I can pop in my second hole. And then I have these cute little hoops that again, I love the character of them, but they're simple enough where they really work well with my casual outfits. And I've also added some chain jewelry in terms of my necklace and my bracelet. I love that this necklace is kind of like a cool casual vibe to add to a dress outfit. And then I also have this nice little bracelet. I like these style bracelets because my wrists are so small that sometimes I just need something that I can just put in, pop in any like, you know, chain hole and it will fit properly on my wrist. And I also really like how this is just really minimal and simple. And it doesn't make me feel like I'm dressing up too much with all of these jewelry pieces, but it does help like finish off the look and definitely helps it look more put together. Perifoya is having a really nice sale right now. So with each purchase, you get a free gift and I'll have in the description box the details on how to make the best use of this sale. Also, if you're watching this video a little later on, after the sale ends, no worries because I do have an exclusive discount code which you can use to pick yourself up some pieces from Perifoya. As I mentioned before, I love Perifoya for their unique and sustainable options, but I also really like their price points. All the pieces that I've shown you today were under $40, and they do have like higher end pieces, so I feel like there's something for everybody. But if you're looking to stay under budget, then definitely shopping their pieces is a good place to go to because I think that their quality is really nice. I always get compliments whenever I wear my Pure Foil pieces because they look very expensive, honestly, especially for the price point. So I'm going to have the pieces that I'm wearing today along with details about the sale linked in the description box. Outfit number two is a little bit outside the box. As I mentioned in the previous outfit, your best bet for wearing sneakers with dresses and skirts is to go for a sleek, kind of minimal, narrow style because that's going to balance well with the voluminous style of the skirt. But this does not mean that you don't have to wear chunky sneakers if that's a style that you really like. 
I have this pair of New Balance sneakers that I absolutely love and I've been wearing quite often because I just like, they're a little something different than my usual style. And I really love the leopard print here and also the gold trim it matches my gold jewelry that I love to wear all the time. When it comes to wearing chunky sneakers with dresses and skirts, you just want to make sure you wear a style that tapers in or that is fitted. Now this doesn't mean that you have to wear something that's bodycon, but just something that will tapers in like a pencil dress or skirt or something that's like a straight cut would be the best. Because as I mentioned before, the reason why you wear those like sleek, narrow shoes is to balance out the volume. So now you want to try to balance out the volume of the chunkiness of the sneakers and you're going to do that by wearing it with a skirt or dress that tapers in. So today's outfit for this pair of shoes, I'm wearing this sweater dress from Able. Able's quality of their clothing is amazing. They're also a sustainable like clothing company and I love this dress. I love the fit of it. I love how comfortable it is. I like with the tie waist I can like move it around and I like how it pairs well with these sneakers as well. In fact these sneakers are going to get a lot of use in my upcoming spring caps and wardrobe. I have some outfits planned with them. I love the color palette but I really like how these pair well with the black dress because I could have just wore like black sneakers but I think that these kind of add some more color into the outfit and I really like how my gold jewelry from Perifoya pops off the black dress as well and it just everything just ties together especially with the gold detailing on the shoes, the jewelry and of course using that black dress as a nice little base and the dress helps balance out the chunkiness of the shoes because it is more of a fitted look. Of course if you don't want your sweater dresses to be as fitted my best uh, tip for you is to just size up. I do like the fit of this because it isn't bodycon. Of course it is fitted, but it isn't tight. It just fits really nice and kind of just grazes over my body, which is what I look for when I'm going for like a fitted dress style. Moving on to the next outfit, which is another one of my favorite modest casual combinations, and that is wearing a t-shirt dress with some type of cropped jacket. Now usually I like to go with a crop jacket just because it helps add that rule of thirds which I talked about in one of my modest fashion hacks video and it doesn't just cut my body in half. This jacket from Misguided is just a little, sits up a little bit higher on my waist so it helps balance out the look. Now I'm not going to lie, this dress is kind of short. Um, I like the quality of it and I really love the style of it but I wish it was just a tad longer like if it went at least down to my knees. I honestly don't recommend this dress um, if you're taller or even like average size because I am 4'10". That's the only reason this dress worked. I believe it's marketed as a mini dress so um, just keeping that in mind. I am going to link it below but I'll also link below some alternatives for you. Overall, I really like how simple this outfit is and I like the color palette too. I love wearing uh, olive green color and the sneakers that I'm wearing are more similar to the Ked style. They are these cute little sneakers that have these wording on them that says save the earth. I don't even know if I'm going to show you the close up because I've been dogging them. I wear them all the time. I cleaned them up a little bit for the video but they need some like deep cleaning. Um, but I really love the style of them. Again, they also have that like leopard print trim. And I love the color of these as well. They're just not like your classic white sneakers. They've got a little bit something more going on. And I thought they complemented well with the olive jacket. And of course, again, I'm still finishing off the outfit with the same pieces I'm wearing from Perry Foya. I actually am thinking about switching out this bracelet and wearing my tennis bracelet because I really want the diamonds to complement the silver trim on the jacket. For the last outfit, I'm wearing those sneakers again, and once again, I think that the color palette of the sneakers complement well with, this time, the rust color of my skirt. This skirt is so comfortable, and it's a great transitional piece from winter to spring because even though it is a knitted piece, it's a skirt, so you don't have to necessarily wear like any stockings with it, but you can still feel warm. This skirt is from Amazon too, so it's a nice like little Amazon find, and I'm wearing it with this beautiful shirt from... Uh, modern citizen. I've been eyeing this shirt for the longest and I think during Black Friday I finally picked it up so kind of like a little shopping tip. I'm just throwing everything in this video and that is to make a wish list and take your time when you're purchasing pieces because you never know when something's going to go on sale or if after it being on your wish list for a few months you're like mm, never mind I don't really want that. Well this shirt has been on my wish list for the longest and I had not grown tired of it so when it was on sale I finally picked it up 
What's cool about this shirt is obviously the tie detail here just makes an average t-shirt like kind of pushes to shame. It just adds something unique and to me a little bit feminine to it. I love the way it pairs with this skirt because it hits at my waist, my natural waist, and it just adds again that roll of thirds that I keep talking about and I really like the way it balances off with the sneakers and then I also added a brown bag. I thought the brown bag just helped tie everything together with the sneakers and the little skirt. And of course, my gold jewelry. It just helps bring the outfit together and definitely really just adds a nice finishing touch to the look. Thanks so much for staying all the way to the end. I hope you enjoyed today's video. It was helpful. Let me know in the comments which of the four outfits was your favorite. Feel free to download the style guide that I made for styling sneakers with dresses and skirts. And also check out Perry Foya's options that they have for really beautiful, unique pieces that, as I mentioned before, the quality is just really good with the price points. I'll have the sale that they're having linked in the description bar below, along with my exclusive discount that you can use instead if you'd like. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye!